What's going on, everybody? Z here, and welcome back to some more Satisfactory. That's right, we're back. We're playing some more. So hopefully you guys enjoy. If you do, don't forget to leave a like. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. So last episode, we built the nuclear reactors. We built two of them. I was going to build six, but they're quite large. And uh, yeah, we didn't really do anything else with them because we needed the Bayer process, which we just unlocked. That is right. We have done it. He has done it. He has unlocked the Bayer process. So now we have a Miner Mark Three. The normal extraction rate is 240 resources per minute. The Mark V belt is 660 resources per minute. That's absolutely insane. Uh, conveyor lift equal. Aluminum ingot. Uh, oh, they're made from bauxite. Oh. Uh, alkaline aluminum sheet. That's what I needed for... Oh, a battery. That sounds fun, too. That's what I needed for the suit. And I wanted to make the hazmat suit before we made uh, any you know, nuclear reactor stuff, because that's just dirty stuff. That's not good. Not good at all. Uh, hazmat filter is going to be, oh, it takes regular filters. Filters, quick wire, and rubber. Okay, so I need to make a boatload of regular filters. So I need coal, rubber, and fabric. Do I actually, you know what? I think I have some, no, you know what? I have silica. But I don't know if I actually have any... Hmm. I need some fabric stuff. Let's see. Fabric. That's mycelia, right? Mycelia and... Biomass. That means I need a chainsaw. Oh, I need a chainsaw. Okay, so I need to go collect a boatload of that. And then we need to make a whole bunch of filters. So that way we can make a whole bunch of hazmat filters. So we can make the hazmat suit. What is this? Uh, alkali aluminum sheet. And I need to get some bauxite. Oh my gosh. Wait, do I have, is bauxite on the thing now? <gasps> oh, it is. How far away is it? Oh. It's apparently a very long ways away. Oh my gosh. 1,500 meters that way? I don't think I really have anything over there. Oh, there's a ton of it over there, though. Hmm. How much aluminum... Al how much of that sheeting do I need? I mean, we have that guy. So I'll probably ride that guy up there. Um, I'm going to need it, though. I'm going to absolutely need it. All right. So I am going to find my chainsaw. I'm going to grab some biofuel for said chainsaw. And then I'm going to go out, collect some... Uh, that's not... That is not biofuel. Wait, actually... What do we have in here? Leaves. Actually, I might have some biomass. Oh, wait. Uh, do I have fabric? Oh, I've already got some fabric. Okay. Well, I mean, I guess <laughs> I guess that's a thing. Uh, do I have any... It's usually in, like, little square deals. I do have a little bit of leaves. Uh, what is this? Oh, is this mycelia? Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, we're way good on mycelia. So if I just got a chainsaw, I went and cut around. Oh, and I just, oh, actually, can we, we can turn wood into biomass, right? Yeah, we can. Oh, we're way good on that. Okay, so we're going to have to go grab that aluminum, though. Ooh, that's going to be, that's going to be fun. All right, so we got like 300 and something fabric now. That was, that was way easier than I was expecting. Okay, so hazmat suit. I want to make the hazmat suit. Oh, I only need 50 fabric for that guy. Hazmat filter takes rubber and quick wire. And then the regular filter. We need rubber and coal. All right. I'm going to grab a bunch of rubber and coal. I am going to keep a stack of fabric out, though. That way I don't accidentally turn it into something that I don't want it to be. I think I have everything I need for most. Okay, so I can make 119 of those. And I'll be able to make 48 of those. And I should have enough for everything except for this alkaline aluminum sheet. Now, I'm going to... I have no idea, but I'm going to go ahead and make a... Uh, I'm going to make an... I, I'm going to have an... I have an idea. I don't have enough inventory space. Uh, I bet you the nuclear rods, because you have to make the uranium cell, and that's going to be part of a nuclear rod. I'm going to guess that the nuclear rod is probably going to require that aluminum al alkalide stuff. So I'm probably going to have to make a mine shaft or a mine over on that the bauxite deposit. So that's probably going to have to happen. But I want to get the hazmat suit built. 
I want to get the machine set up. I want to get the things laid out. Also, I don't know what the, what is the um, actually hold on. What does the uh, minor mark? Okay, is that a turbo motor? That's a turbo motor. What's turbo motor take? Uh, it does take that. Okay, and then what about the what about the uh, the belt mark five? Yep, yep, yep. We're gonna be needing a lot of that. Oh, we're gonna need a lot of that. Oh, that's actually, that's actually really exciting. I, it's like it's like a whole nother system, a whole nother machine, a whole nother line of stuff that we're gonna have to make. But we have ample power right now as it is, so we should be able to set those up no problema. Especially once we get Mark II miners on those, uh, it looks like there was like two or three nodes fairly close by, so we could set up a whole little area, uh, kind of dedicated over there. We might just see if there's like a geyser or something over there. Maybe we can run some geyser power over there and have like a little separate power grid kind of thing. I don't know though. We'll have to see. All right, so we got 81 hazard filters. I can make more. Uh, the issue with these guys is they're exactly the same as a regular filter. Just saying. Uh, that could be a problem. That could be a problem in itself. Uh, okay, so we have that. We have these. And I want to go check those out. I am going to take a... Oh, do we have a detonator? I have a bunch. Oh, oh, do I have a bunch of uh, Noblesk. I don't know if I have a detonator, though. I need five radius. I know I have a detonator somewhere. All right, so we're bringing the essentials with us. I have a gas mask. We have a jetpack. We have fuel. We have filters for the gas mask in case we come across a bad area. Uh, we have a rifle. We have a detonator, a couple beacons, some more fuel. And we're going to hop up here. We're going to grab some, uh, some ammo for our rifle. And we're going to grab some Noblesk. Now, I don't know how much Noblesk we're going to need. But I have a feeling I have enough, and I know I have enough cartridges for the rifle as well. Uh, I was kind of messing with this before, and I was like, wait, everything was stopped up. Uh, as you can see, we have a uh, we have a few rounds. We have a few cartridges here. Not an issue whatsoever. And then we have these. So as you can see, that's 100 explosives is probably good enough. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and actually put this in our hand as well. Then we'll have uh, this guy. Press R to reload. Don't need to do that. Press R to reload. Now I'm actually kind of surprised. There's not a uh, there's not a science thing for the for the rifle anymore. So we're not gonna have to worry about that. But that is really all I think we're going to need. And I'm pretty much just gonna grab a whole bunch of uh, that aluminum by hand to start with, just so we can get some things made. And then we could always revisit it and start making some miners over there and you'll have all that fun stuff. So I know it's way way over there and i'm trying to decide how i want to get there i don't know if i want to drive we could we could drive i also need to grab health along the way i think we're just gonna run i think we'll be all right to run so let's just head okay so it looks like oh we're just going up there by the uh the pink flowery stuff all right let's head for it let's let's do this you know they definitely increase the size of the trees and you know what i actually kind of knew that because i saw a reddit post where somebody actually built their base above this area and it said like there was like 600 hours or something like that. Some crazy amount of uh, time in it. And the trees are now ruining it because they all poked up through. Uh, those trees are absolutely massive. They you did not used to be like that. They used to be like this. I think I'm pretty sure they used to be like that. And now they're like those things are gigantic. They're absolutely massive. So we're heading over there. Let's go ahead and do a quick scan. Kind of give us an idea how far away we are. Uh. Okay, not bad. We're halfway there. Nice. What are those things? What the heck are those? I don't recall seeing those. Oh. Yeah, they definitely added some stuff here. I don't remember seeing those. Okay. Let's go find some bauxite, shall we? And, oh. Wow. Those are neato. What are you, is that coal? There's a coal deposit right there. That's amazing. Uh, okay. So where's this, uh, where's this box site at? 350 meters and counting. Uh, this looks like a dried up little lake bed right here. I have a feeling we'll know it when we see it. Uh, there's no bad hombres over here yet. No, no bad dudes. Uh, we can pick up stuff. Oh, this area looks so nice. Oh, it looks so much nicer than before. <gasps> Those things are massive. Those things are absolutely huge uh is that the box set right up there i think it is i think it is nope it's not okay so it's right here 
Hmm. So this area has the bauxite in it. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, they scared me. They touched me. Get him. Oh my gosh, I need more than 10 shots. Come on, people. Oh, interesting. So the one I was shooting was kind of glitched out, but the other ones, when you shoot them, they run away. They like, they totally dip out. They're like, yeah, peace. I'm not, I'm not part of this. Uh, okay, so this is the box site, right? Right there, there, there she be. Uh, okay, so that's, I mean, that's not terrible. Because I think our uranium's not too far. If we went like straight over this hill and made an elevator down. Oh, I don't think so. That's right, get wrecked, son. Oh, I'm so glad that I brought this. I don't know what these dudes are. They seem bigger. Anymore. Those guys are going to come back. I know they're going to come back and they're going to scare me. Oh, I need some food. Oh my gosh. I have no idea where that guy was. Oh my gosh. He absolutely scared the Jesus out of me. Oh no. I see you. Goodbye. All right. Where's the other one at? There you are. I see you. Goodbye. Okay. Oh, it's a good thing we have this. Uh, this note is actually pure, which is fantastic. Because that means we're going to get a whole bunch from it once we do throw a miner on here. Oh my gosh, this is going to take forever. Oh, I should have brought an auto miner with me. Why did I not bring an auto miner with me? All right, we got 400. I think that'll work for now. <laughs> it's getting boring here. Um, I was attacked by three more of those, of those dudes. Three more of them. Absolutely insane. I know. That's what I was saying. So we're going to take this stuff back. We're going to head back. We're going to see uh, what we need to do to turn it into something. And then hopefully... Oh, look at all this mycelia. I don't have any... I could pick it all up. Hmm. I feel like this is going to take forever. You know what? I don't really need it anyways. Okay. So let's see. I believe my uranium area is actually like right down here. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's right here. This main road. Wow, super lag. Yeah, it's right there. Look at that. So we could... Uh, oh, there's a giant void there. So we could run some things over here, bring it down uh, over this way. Uh, we'd have to connect a few elevators together. <laughs> just, just a few would have to be connected. Actually, are there any slugs around here? Oh, I want to check for geysers. Is there a geyser over here anywhere? Was really... Uh, nope. Okay, never mind. I was really hoping there'd be a geyser over there so we could just harvest that guy and call it good for the power over there, but uh, we'll probably end up just running power line out there because why not? Why not? Oh, this is sketchy. Oh, this is sketchy. You know what? It's not even worth it. I'm just gonna go down here instead. Okay. Uh, I remember this area. Did I already uh, open this guy? Parts needed. It needs 20 megawatts of power. Oh, mm, well, that's unfortunate. Oh, I thought I heard something. Oh my gosh, I thought I heard something. Uh, much of Ooh. I mean, these aren't these aren't bad finds here. Those are good. Okay. All right, we'll take these. All right, so uh, we're just going to head down here. Like a so. And then we're going to head back and we're going to... We're going to smelt this stuff, turn it into hopefully some aluminum alkaloid or alkaloid or something like that. And then make ourselves a hazmat suit and hopefully start building some things and making some, some at least uranium cells, if not uranium rods. But I have a feeling we're going to need that, uh, the bauxite stuff. All right. Can we do some smelting? Um, I don't even know. I, don't, I have no idea what we need here. Um, where, okay. What is that? What is this? Okay, bauxite. And what is this? Uh, silica. Oh, actually, hold on. Uh, I have some in here. Well, that was convenient. Okay, so uh, aluminum ingot. Alkali aluminum sheet is gonna be the aluminum ingot and copper. Okay, so let's go ahead and make that. Now we just need some copper, which, lucky for us, we're right next to our copper production line. Absolutely. Uh, I'll just go ahead and borrow those. 
and I'll borrow uh, those. Thank you very much. You know, this whole copper line is being ran by, oh, I guess it's being run by two, technically. Why did I do it this way? Why didn't I run this into here? I don't know. They're all backed up anyways, so they're all getting equal resources. It's fine. <laughs> I'm just like, why did I, why would I do that? I don't know. I guess, uh, I guess I didn't really know what I was doing then. That's fine. We're fine. All right. Alkalid aluminum sheet. We're going to make 60, what is it, 63 of these bad boys? And then we should be able to make our, uh, our hazmat suit. And then we can figure out what we need for the uranium cell, which I know we need some, okay, 66 of those bad boys. And then I needed, I believe I needed some plastic and some of this, and I needed some rubber. Um, poop. I think I left it. I need a rubber, right? Has my suit. Yeah. Yeah, I need a rubber. Darn it. We have the rubber. One hazmat suit coming on up. Oh, I'm excited. If we're going to. Oh, it's going to feel good. There we go. We got it. We got it. It's beautiful. It's white. It's kind of hard to tell what's what. But we have it. It's a thing. Okay. And then we have regular filters in here. And then I believe I put the hazmat filters. Hazmat filter there. Okay. Perfect. So we need some uh okay we're going to need i don't know exactly what we're gonna need actually let's go pop up here and let's look through some recipe things and kind of see what we got to deal with i know we're going to need a constructor to make the uranium cell i believe it's uranium and concrete but then i believe we're going to probably need an assembler actually we're going to need an assembler for that we might need a manufacturer for a nuclear rod i have no idea to be completely honest let's go ahead and take a peek at this guy let's see uh recipes uh, nuclear fuel rod so we have uh in case it doesn't mean a rotor or no a stator sorry a stator in case industrial beams and interesting interesting combo there I mean, I can dig it. I can dig it. So we're going to need, oh, wow. We're going to need a whole, a whole manufacturer for that guy. Holy moly. That's going to be expansive, guys. Uh, so we're going to need a manufacturer. We're going to need either the things to make in case industrial beams and uh, staters, or we could just ship them over there. Um, we could send belts over there or... We could just make like one right now and see what it looks like. I think we'll make the one and see what it looks like. What do you think? Or we'll make a couple of them. Uh, so hold on. Actually, what, how many did I need for that? Uh, 25, three and five. Okay. Let's grab a bunch. Let's grab a bunch. We'll throw the hazmat suit on and we'll make some, actually, I should just take a workbench with me. Can I make, can I even make that without? Electromagnetic. Wait, was that an electromagnetic control? <gasps> it was. I bet you anything that was an electromagnetic control rod. Yeah, it had to have been. I can't even make a nuclear rod by hand, can I? Power sharp, power sharp, rotor. No, I can't. Wait, is it? Is it in here? Uh, not this rifle charge. But I have some suit. No. <gasps> Oh, that is unfortunate. Why? That is so weird. You would think you'd be able to make them by hand until you... <sighs> interesting. Very interesting. I thought for sure, unless I have to make the uranium cell and then maybe I can make the other thing. That's really weird. I thought you could make everything in here that you can make in anything, any machines. You know what I mean? Apparently I was wrong. Apparently I was very wrong because look at there's the, I mean, there's the crystalline oscillator right there. That's something that's different, but there's no We can't make the uh, the, the the nuclear rod interesting So I need to get a manufacturer and then I also need um, I bet you anything The other thing was an electromagnetic control rod so I need two assemblers. I need one. Oh my gosh. AI thing. 
I mean, I have a, t I have an absolute ton of those guys. We could always make them here and then send them over there. Oh, this is gonna be terrible. We got like all kinds of crazy things to build. All kinds of crazy things to build. Hmm. Well then, uh, I really want to make a rod. <laughs> I just, I just want to make a rod. You know? Okay. Let's let's go ahead and get rid of that. Let's go into production. I want a manufacturer. Um, we need an assembler over there to make the nuclear cell and then that is actually all I really need because I honestly, I just want to get one made. I just want to get one rod made so we can fire it up and see what it looks like at once. Just like just one thing, you know? Uh, so we'll do those and then. I guess we'll do an we'll do another assembler over here because I'm gonna have to make those other things. All right. Um. So that's the stuff. I actually actually. No, it's not because I only need one assembler because I can make the I can make the rod thing in here. All right. So that's gonna have to happen. So we need those items. Hopefully, I have five heavy modular frames. I should. I have fifty. Fantastic. Uh, computers. Cool. We got the computers. Uh, do we need high speed connectors? No, do we need no? Do we need motors? Yeah, we need five. Okay, we got those. And then rotors. Uh, what's in here? Are you rotors? No, you're quick wire. Rotors are right. Are you rotors? Yeah, we have uh, we have a small rotor problem. Because that guy's full. This guy's almost full. Then this guy fills up. It's terrible. It's awful. It's terrible. Um, AI limiters. Okay, so we have those, and then I need what are they? These guys? Uh, stator. Oh wow, I don't have a lot of staters right now. Actually, no, I think I do. I think I have a ton over in that old factory over there. So we could we could raid that guy too real quick. Yeah, we got a few staters over here. Just just a couple. Just, just a couple of them. Um, okay, so that'll work. And I think I have everything I need. For the most part, I'm gonna go ahead and make these uh, these little uh, what are they? Electromagnetic control rods. I'm gonna make these now. I'm gonna make these before I even get over there. That way, those are done, and that should be one piece that we need. And then I'm going to need some. Uh, we're gonna end up putting just storage modules on in front of the manufacturer for the other things. I'm just gonna hand bring them over there for now until we get some you know some things ran out there. All right, I think we're good to go. Let's go and see what I forgot, because I, I guarantee you I forgot something. I don't know what it is, but I forgot something. So we're going to head over here. We're going to head into the cave of the uranium. We're going to throw the hazmat suit on. We're going to make a manufacturer that's going to make uh, nuclear rods. And I believe we're going to send those out to the uh, I just want I honestly I just want to make one. I just want to get one made and I'll be happy. <laughs> that's what I want to do, because ultimately the save that I'm working on right now on Twitch, if you guys are interested, twitch.tv slash gaming. Um, the, tw the save that I'm working on right there, it's a much better factory. It's going to be so much better than what we have now. Uh, storage is going to be completely different, all that kind of fun stuff. It's going to be completely different. It's going to be so much better, so much more optimized. But um, So I just want to make one, get one going, and I want to see what... It, I know I have an idea of what it does. Did I run out of fuel? I completely ran out of fuel. Um, Open workbench. There you go. Good to go. Good to go. All right. Sweet. So uh, I think I already have, I do actually already have power ran all the way into this cave because that's what I needed. That's where I needed it. So uh, we'll go ahead and leave this guy out for now because I don't know how far in here I can go without taking damage. Let's go ahead and put the, uh, is this the hazmat suit? Okay, boom, hazmat suit. We're good. Let's do this. This is going to be exciting. This is going to be exciting. I don't know if they changed this cave at all, but we should. We should have a ton of nuclear stuff over here, like ready to go. Uh, and there's a big, nice open area so you can build all your nuclear stuff in this cave. It's fantastic. All right. I think it's just right right here. Right around the river bend. All right. There it is. There's the uh, uranium mine just chilling right there, doing its thing, starting to take that radiation damage here. Radiation levels. Okay, it doesn't look like it's going too fast. All right, so let's go ahead and production. 
let's build a manufacturer. Let's get this guy built first. Uh, we'll just throw it right here. Someone, yeah, just something like that. Not super worried about it right now. And then, so there's that guy. And then let's go ahead and do a an assembler. Uh, something like that. That'll work. And then this is going to run into here. And this is going to be the uranium cell. And then I'm going to need to build a... Where are you? Organization. I'm going to need to build a few of these guys just for uh, the basic stuffs. I think that should do it. So you to there. All right. And then you to that guy this one to there and then you to right there this one is going to be a nuclear fuel rod three of these bad boys perfect so i need in case of dust beam and electromagnetic control rods so let's go ahead and dump the electromagnetic control rods that's a stator electromagnetic control rod electromagnetic control rod fantastic um i didn't bring hardly any concrete with me darn it i knew i'd forget something and what was this one this one is uh, in, in case industrial beams. Okay. So in case industrial beams, go ahead and throw a few of those in there like that. That should work. And then we need to get some power lines ran. I don't have any cables. Are you serious? Oh no, I do. I just wasn't connected to anything. Okay. Uh, so, hmm. Yeah, we're gonna do another one right here. And we'll do boom boom good to go you're going to make that you're gonna start filling up fantastic look at all the delicious uranium there oh my gosh oh if you get super close it's bad for you imagine that <laughs> imagine that uh, okay so there's this there's that and then let's just do this let's grab a uh another industrial storage we'll throw it right there and we'll grab you to right there. That's gonna be the output of that. So we're literally just waiting on the uranium cell. I have a little bit of concrete. We'll go ahead and throw that in this storage deal right here. I'm not used to not having my jetpack. Put that there. And then is this guy powered up? Ready to rock and roll? It's doing the things. It is doing the things. Uh, It's very slow. It makes 10 per minute though. Okay, and then it needs nine per minute for concrete. So that that should last 10 minutes. <laughs> uh, or 11 minutes, sorry. So then these will be made into nuclear rods. And then the nuclear rods will then go out there. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and back up a little bit. I want to wait for my first thing to come out. I want to get my uh, radi radiation levels down. So we're not using these filters if we don't have to. So ideally, there's a, there's a slug up there. I'm going to go get that guy. Ideally the all the uranium stuff is going to stay in here that's that's the idea that's the plan however we're gonna have to bring stuff in here to continue there's a it's a purple slug too wow what a find what a find i'll take you so ideally all the uranium stuff's gonna stay in here uh we would probably end up throwing a mark three miner on there getting as much uranium as we can and just making these fuel rods as fast as we can i don't know how long a fuel rod lasts in a nuclear reactor, but we're about to find out. We are absolutely about to find out. And I don't know uranium wise, uh, uranium. Is there any more uranium in here? There's that one. Uh, nope, no, we're close by. Not close enough to make it worth it anyways. So, um, oh wow, there's one, there's one way over there. Interesting, uh, okay. So let's wait for this guy. That guy is awaiting materials. That's why it's flashing yellow. And then it should go to green once it's making it. And then we'll have our first fuel rod. Oh, oh, we're making it. It's happening. It's happening. It's making it. It's making it. We're making it. We're making a fuel rod. All right, let's check it out. How long does it take? Oh my gosh. It makes 0.4 per minute. What? Uh, Well, hopefully it lasts a heck of a lot longer than that. Because if we're only making half, not even half of one per minute, that's two minutes per fuel rod. My gosh, that's expensive. Jeez, it's not expensive. It's just extremely time consuming. We need to throw a purple slug on there. 
Uh, not right now. <laughs> not right now. That is not the machine that we need to overclock, if any of them. Because uh, we're not really we're not really reliant on this power yet. I am really curious to see in the future where they're going to go with power consumption. What is going to be added that's going to require so much power that we're going to have an issue? Because like, uh, if we take a peek right now, right? I'm making 3,800 megawatts. I mean, I have 24. I think I have 24 uh, fuel generators going or fuel burners or whatever. So, I mean, I guess that might be excessive. But the the nuclear reactor makes 2,500 power by itself. That's almost going to double our power output with one nuclear reactor. Two of them, that's 5,000. That's a lot of power. So I'm just curious, what's going to require so much power that we need this kind of capability? Maybe we don't. Maybe they're only intending it for us. Like, you, you what are you doing? Why, why are you guys making 60 fuel generators? Or why are you making... Why do you need more than one nuclear reactor? You don't. <laughs> so maybe that's just what we're doing. Um, but because then if we only had one, then it really wouldn't be that bad. You could build a second one if you absolutely needed it. But um, okay, come on. Come on. Oh, there it is. I was going to take a photo of it, but it was too fast. <laughs> what am I doing? We have our first nuclear rod. Let's take it. Uh, oh, oh, it's bad to hold these. Don't hold these. Oh, we gotta go. We gotta go now. <laughs> I don't even know if I think I can add it. Oh, I'm so excited to see what happens. I'm beyond excited. Uh, we gotta get going. We are like blowing through our, our filters right now. It's totally worth it though. Absolutely worth it. So obviously you would want this process entirely automated. And realistically, if I was going to set up a nuclear reactor and get it running, I think I would probably not even start mining the uranium until I was ready for it because then you don't have as much of a uh you don't have as much uh radiation as soon as you start mining it and storing it is when the radiation really starts piling up because like that whole storage unit back there was completely full of uranium so that's why it was so strong but uh realistically probably in the other save i won't even touch this stuff until i have these and have everything set up to get it running or get to running and then it'll be boom fire everything up at the same time and let it go and leave it and never look back i wonder if these ever have a meltdown <laughs> that would be pretty funny if they did probably not oh man could you imagine the uh this whole planet would be just done for uh okay oh you know what we need we need to power the things we gotta power the stuff no i don't have any concrete oh well we're, we're, we're putting it in here anyways uh where are you nuclear rod there you are okay all right, it's in there. Okay, let's go see what's going on. Oh! E to configure. Oh, that is amazing. Oh! What? Oh! That is amazing. So it doesn't say how long it takes. It, it's not going to say anything until I actually connect it up. Oh my gosh, the thing looks amazing. I love it. The Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Like this is exactly what I would imagine it would look like. If it was going to look like anything, this is what it would look like. I absolutely, oh, it's working. It looks like it's working. Oh my gosh, that's cool. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. All righty, guys. Well, that is going to end this episode. Hopefully, you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. Again, we Twitch stream uh, three times a week. Monday or Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday. So, uh, yeah, you can follow us. Twitch.tv slash if you want to check that out. But uh, thank you guys so much for the support. I do appreciate it. You guys have a fantastic week, and I'll see you in the next one. This is amazing.